Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm sick with it with Arabic. Have you ever found yourself in those conversations online where you're arguing back and forth which DAW is better than the other? Well, I'm not here to tell you which one to pick, but I'm going to tell you what I use and why I use it. And it's called Reason. I'm going to give you five reasons why I use Reason. See what I did there? Reasons for re... Never mind. Let's get into it. All right, producers, now I know you have every reason in the world as to why you use the DAW that you use, and there's probably no altering your opinion. Well, for me, I'm an avid lover and user of Reason for years. Today, I just want to share with you a few of the features that I use to help with my workflow in creating a beat. Let's get into it. The first feature that is super helpful is one called Blocks. Most genres use a standard song structure, and we should keep that in mind when creating. Now, if you're one that's not very good at counting bars, or lose track of how long a song is when creating it, or maybe you don't know how long a verse or a hook should be, then this is the perfect tool to help you to create a song structure within the parameters of the genre you choose. I use blocks to help me create a song structure for every beat that I make. I break it down into six areas. The intro, the verse, the pre-hook, the hook, a bridge, and the outro. Now, you can structure however you want. That's just my preference. In blocks mode, you can edit the titles and colors of each block you customize. In songs mode, you can assign each block on the sequencer to structure out your song. Different genres have differences in how they are structured. So you may want to create structures using blocks in the genre you find yourself creating in the most. Then, save it as a template so you don't have to restart the process every time you open up a new project. Keep in mind, Blocks actually has a more in-depth use and purpose. This is just how I personally use it. The second feature that has saved my life from heartbreak when it comes to missing files in my tracks is the self-contained feature. Have you ever cleaned up your computer, maybe moved and rearranged some files and folders, or maybe you deleted something that you thought was unnecessary, only to find out that when you open up your song project, sounds and files are disconnected, they're missing, and your track is in complete disarray. Well, a great way to ensure that this doesn't happen again is to utilize self-contain. It's simple. Once you saved your project, click on File, then click on Self-Contained Settings. Here, you can check each box of the sounds you want to keep contained within your file. Now remember, for every box that you check, it increases the size of your file. But if you don't mind, this can be very beneficial for you down the road as to never lose files or sounds again. If you don't want to have to do that for every single track, here's an easier way. Click up on Reason, go down to Preferences, and under General, Click the box that says self-contain when loading from disk, and this will ensure that your samples and songs remain in the project despite any rearrangement of files or accidental deletes. The third feature that's one of my favorites and I probably use the most is time stretching. Now this feature works really good if you're a sample or loop user. Let's say you're creating a beat with a specific feel and tempo in mind, and you find a sample or loop that you really want to use, but it has a different BPM. Well, you can use the time stretch feature to stretch that audio out to match the tempo. You can also shorten the stretch to increase the speed of the loop or sample, or you can broaden the stretch to slow it down. Time stretch also works well for shortening and extending effect automations. The fourth feature in Reason, which is super dope, I mean like fire, is called Scales and Chords, AKA Cheat Codes. That's right cheat codes. Now, Scales and Chords is a great player for those who don't know how to play the piano, let alone know how to play Scales and Chords, but understand what it should sound like. By using Scales and Chords in any instrument in Reason, you can trigger chords in any key with just one finger. Did you say one finger? I'm not done. He's not done, hold on. You can also use different inversions and set the amount of notes you wanna use for each chord. What? Crazy. Cheat codes. Yeah. You can even set it up to auto-correct what you play so you never hit a wrong note. When you record what you are playing, you can have it read in the sequencer as one individual MIDI note, or you can record it as each note as MIDI. So that way you can manually move around the notes to create new chords 
or shift the notes so it has a more natural and realistic feel if you desire. The fifth and last yet very useful feature is bounce in place. Take any MIDI instrument that you play and bounce it in place. It takes that MIDI file and converts it into an audio file, all within the sequencer so you never have to export or import your new sound. This helps your computer's performance because it locks in the instrument with all the added effects into one single track while muting the original MIDI track. You can even manipulate the audio by chopping it and using it as a sample, by reversing it, time stretching it, transposing it, and you can even add additional effects to it if you want. And that's it. Those are five features or reasons why I use Reason. No, but really, for those who have been working in the DAW probably are very familiar with these features. But for those who are looking to experiment and try Reason for the first time, this is a great place to start. Hope this helps. Be sure to like and comment below and subscribe to our Airbit channel for more content. Until next time, stay creative. Peace.